All right. Welcome back, Rail fans. Welcome back to the channel. Ready for Christmas? Christmas is coming. And delicious tea. It's a mint green tea, if you're ever wondering. Always wondering what Mr. Steve's drinking. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mr. Steve, and this is Mr. Steve's Trains. Tonight we're going to do a little unboxing. We've got a couple of goodies, a little pre-Christmas. I kind of cheated a little bit, opened up the box. Didn't look inside. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. It's a little something from Legacy Station. Gotta love the folks out there at Legacy Station. Love that orange box. Deep six this. Ooh, look at this. That guy, man. The line now put the plastic on there tight enough. They don't want you to open it. Plug and play. Ooh, just the perfect time for this. So far, oh wow. Uh-oh. Sounds like there's a lot of spare parts in here. There's parts in there. What this is, apparently some assembly is required. This is the uh, wooden stand. Man, I didn't know I had to put this together. It's the wooden stand. Balcony, the people come up there. And you're gonna get your hot cocoa. This is the Lionel hot cocoa caboose. I don't know if you can see that well enough. I'll bring it in. Nice grab irons. Got little awnings over the windows. One, two, three dollars. Three sizes, right? Got a nice chain on the end of it. Nice looking caboose, right? Couple pickup rollers on there. Again with the awnings. Couple marshmallow clouds on there. That's pretty cool. You got a vent for your smokestack. Nobody inside it though. I don't see any figures in there. Nonetheless, it's pretty cool. I like the grab irons on the roof. Nice see-through uh, catwalk on there. So I'll, ha I'll have to get the stand put together. Have that ready for the display for Christmas. Oh, it even comes with a plug and play, plug and play piece of fast track. Lucky for me, I've got plenty of fast track. Nice. Nice. Very nice. And if you can see that, that's what that's supposed to look like. Hope I did that right in front of the camera. 
I'm trying kind of guessing as I'm going along here. Ooh, all right. This is something from Metka, M-E-T-C-A, Metka. I think it's the Metro Transit, Transportation, Transit Authority. Apparently, they're a rail club out there. I think they're from Middleton, New Jersey. And they do special runs of trains and cars, train cars, engines. I know they do some MTH. They do a bit of Lionel. Silver Hooves Railway. Pretty cool. The Christmas traditional Halloween stuff. This here is an MTH model. More flyers. Another box. Let's see what we got in here. I didn't open it. It was already opened. I'm sure they probably checked it before they shipped it. Ooh. Oh, that's a beauty. Can you see that? They're gonna. This was a little impromptu, so if, uh, forgive me if it's not perfect. I just got home from work and I wanted to get something out before I laid out the Christmas train for this weekend. Take the boxes off the couplers. Ooh, we got opening doors. Feels like a flat floor. Nothing too special with the interior. Nice rough. Carnation milk. The Woodside Reefer. Be careful that I'll end up breaking it. Carnation milk from Contented Cows. They had these in the white and black, and then they had them in uh, yellow and brown. Brown, brown roof, brown ends with a yellow side. I thought the, the white and black just looked spectacular on there. Number 6422. And this is a special run model. This was through MTH. Woodside Carnation Reefer. So that's great. I, I don't... Never seen one before. As far as I know, it's a special run. First time they've did them. Nice lettering. I love the way those hinges really striking against the white background. That's just great. That's perfect for the uh, steam engine. Got a nice brake wheel on top. I'm sure if I, yeah, it does. It's got opening hatches on the roof. You, those are your ice bunkers in the end. You pack that up with ice. That's what, actually, that was your refrigeration back in the day. All right, we're going to carefully set this in there. This last box was an eBay special. I was searching for one thing. You know, eBay likes to give you suggestions related to your searches. This came up 
And I thought, ooh, that looks cool. I went to the lady's site, and this was the only train-related thing on there. So this is not a train person. She had a bunch of, like, old shoes, old books, plates, cups. You know, it looked like someone dumped their garage sale on eBay. But this came up through the related searches on eBay. So I can tell you, not being a trained person, I got a real good deal on this. Sometimes, you know, even a pig finds, a blind pig finds an acorn. Man, she taped it up really good though. Who knows where she got it? Cause it, it sold too cheap to be a trained person. Unless I just bought a box of broken parts. 86. It. Nice. Nicely packaged. Get rid of this. Thank you for supporting my small business. Your purchase is truly appreciated. Thanks. Isn't that lovely? I love that when they put a little note in there. Appreciation for your small business. Well, let's just get right into it. It's actually a pretty bigger box than I thought it was going to be. Flatbed truck, three dome rail car. Lionel. All right, well, let's see this bad boy. Without further ado, any of you guys, you older guys, you might know this. Dial M for Murder. It was an old movie. <laughs> Those scissors look familiar. You seen that movie? Dial M for Murder. That came out 1940s, mid, 45 maybe. I got your interest. Let's see. If I can carefully. Whoa. Papers, instructions. Instructions is don't break it. Wow, that's a lot bigger. It said O scale. Yeah, I think that truck's a little bigger than no scale, you know what I'm saying? This is like G scale. I guess if you gotta make a truck big enough to put a, well, it's got little chains on the back. Got some simulated road bed on there. Holy cow, man, that, that is a big truck. I was like, how are they gonna put a semi train car on a semi truck? Okay, so it doesn't quite actually fit the scale, but. And then you got a miniature train car goes on there. At least it actually, it actually does have working couplers. Oh my God, this baby's huge. <laughs> I mean, for the, for the price, I got it shipped. You know, we're talking probably less than $35. I don't know if this is new, old. Let me show you, let me give you a closer look. Oh my God, my knees. All right. Let Grandpa get up off the floor here. Oh, 
Not bad, huh? Try not to tip this thing off the edge. There's the rail car on there. He's got some bands around the bottom. Don't worry, that's not those white marks on there, they ain't permanent. Lionel trains on a flatbed. It's cool. Maybe we'll just make it like a a statue or something off in the background. Boy, that car is wobbly on there. But you know, it's a nice piece of Lionel. Put it on the shelf for a display. Right? Makes a nice makes a real nice display piece. It's got rubber wheels on it. Train car is pretty standard. It's probably like their uh, Lion King model. The Lion King mode. So what do you think? Kind of cool. Again, it's like it's brand new. I I'd have to look it up and see what this is worth. See when it came out. Well, yeah, we can find a find a nice spot for it. We'll figure something out. I'm happy with the cocoa car. I'm going to get the cocoa car put together. And uh, we'll get everything all set up. We'll get this mess cleaned up. Carnation car, well, that's going to have to wait because we're running Christmas trains now. We're going to get into that. So, i got a nice little mess here to clean up. <laughs> from, so, from down here on the floor, until next time, happy rails. All right, and that's a wrap.